mention the correct name of the Messiah. His name is Yeshua. You can call him Yeshua for short. I am telling you now. I am telling you because we have come to preach the truth. It doesn't matter. Men like Yahweh, men like Yahweh is relevant. His name is Yahweh Yeshua. That's his name. You know, Papa, how the Greek God, Makadega, Mama, oh, Papa, send the Greeks, good night, ah, oh, Papa, send the Greeks, good night, ah, can not go near you, ah, I say, Kabu. His name is Yahweh Yeshua. This is the name of the son of Chikuki Kabiam. You know, Papa, every Sunday, Papa, I say. Go and read. Go and do your research. J as an English word came into existence only 480 years ago. What was his name before English word had J in it? I said I should tell you his name is Yahweh Yeshua or Yeshua for short I am telling you the truth oh my goodness you will have no other God before me so says the Lord of hosts it doesn't matter who it is. You will worship nothing else apart from me. I said nothing else apart from me. I am the Lord of hosts. Exodus 20. If you leave it, you fall. If you abandon the Ten Commandments, you fall. Ask any nation on earth. Ask Israel, and Israel will tell you. If you abandon the Ten Commandments, you will fall. Go back to common sense and reason. They say we preach religion on radio. Why will we not? My name, my name is Namdi. My father lived it. How else do you want me to explain it? My father lived it. What are you? Hello? Did you just listen to that? Did you just hear him call Jesus idol? Look, you know, most times when we preach this, people misunderstand us. This is not the only thing I talk about. I'm trying to bring salvation to you. But there's no way we will talk about salvation if we don't talk about the person that gives salvation. So you talk, can't talk about righteousness and holiness without talking about the one through whom we can get holiness. There is no other holiness in any other one. Righteousness is of him alone. But you must first of all believe. But how can you believe when you don't know whom to believe? These people misled us from the beginning. You don't understand the politics, the religious politics that is going on in the world. And that is why they packaged these lies and brought to us. So they made us in a way that we don't even question some of the things we believe over years. And that is why this lie will continue to thrive, except people like us rise up and challenge these lies. How can you think about it that the name Jesus that you have believed over years is not the real name of the Savior? That's actually the name of an idol called Zeus, which was uh, uh, modified into what we call Jesus today. That the actual name of the Savior is actually Yeshua Hamashiach? That the likes of Apostle Paul, Peter, John, Andrew, and Mary, 
never knew him as Jesus. They never called him as Jesus. That the actual name of the Savior was removed from the Bible and, and replaced with what you call today as Jesus. How does it feel to think about these things? Yeah, it could be disturbing. I have met a lot of pastors in the course of my ministry trying to preach to them. And some of them, I show them some of this even in their own book references at a time when there was no internet. And when they get to realize the truth, they say, oh, what you're saying is true, but I can't preach this. I can't preach it, not because it's, it's not truth, but because he doesn't want to lose his member. If you probe deeper into the churches and into the pastors, you know there's a lot of things they hide from you. Because they are not interested in your soul. They are interested in exploiting you. If you don't attend, to ch attend churches or events, there's no way they will survive and pay their bills. And that is why they are scared of telling you the truth. But I want to tell you the truth. That the true name of the Savior is not Jesus. It was fabricated. The name Jesus was fabricated. 480 years ago. And they catapulted to us here. And we believe it. And they tell you not to question it. Brothers, you know, when we talk about salvation, you cannot talk about salvation without the Savior. And the Bible has made it categorically clear that salvation is through his name. The Bible said there's no other name under heaven that is given among man by which you must be saved except one name. And that name is the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. That is the name that was challenged by the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That was the name that Apostle Peter, Paul, and others used to perform miracles. This name was in the Bible, but was removed dubiously by those who want to rule the world. And today, they gave you the name of their idol, Zeus, from where the name Jesus was modified. So brethren, I'm not trying to be overly religious. I'm just trying to bring the truth to you. You cannot talk about salvation without believing in the name of the Savior. It is when you believe that you are transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. We do not walk in darkness. Paganism is darkness. And do not think that paganism is when you go to the shrine and bring in um, stones or maybe some paraphernalia and present and, and, and bow before them and worship them. No, paganism is spiritual. It's a thing of the mind. It's a thing of belief. You can be a pagan ignorantly. So do not allow religious blindness to blindfold you. It is not too late to rediscover this truth and go for it. I was also a Jesus believer. I got born again in Christian church. But when I discovered this truth, I decided to quit. I started preaching Yeshua. That is how you know a genuine believer. You don't go about defending the indefensible. We have to open our heart to Yeshua today and allow him to come into our heart. He is the only one that can save me and you. It doesn't matter. Some people say, oh, I have been performing miracle with the name of Jesus. M miracle is not a yardstick for judging the truth. When Pharaoh brought his magicians, they performed miracles. There are so many miracle workers today that are of the kingdoms of darkness. And the Bible also told us that we would be de de deceived by means of miracle. So why are you using miracle as a yardstick? So listen to this. If you can't listen to me, listen to Kano. Jesus is not the name of the Savior.
Yeshua is. Shalom.